we're doing fine compared to somebody else, right? But that's not, who cares, right? What we really wanna know is, have we developed your kid's potential to its fullest, period. So I'm Todd Rose, I'm, I'm the director of the Mind, Brain and Education program at Harvard, and I am the co-founder and president of the Center for Individual Opportunity. Uh, in a nutshell, like what we do is we are focused on the personalization of society. Our educational system was one size fits all because our jobs were basically the same. Um, getting away from a uh, one size fits all view of people and the systems that we build around that and trying to get to something that's far more personal and helps develop the potential of every single person. Students who don't fit or lose interest fall behind. Each year, over one million kids will drop out. Of those, an estimated 50,000 are highly gifted. You know, it's nice that I'm a professor at Harvard and some other things, but I also like fell out of high school, like pretty, pretty spectacularly, really. I had a 0 0.9 GPA um, and I didn't quite fail. They actually kicked me out, right? <laughs> so um, uh, I like fail because it makes it seem like I had some choice. Um, and I ended up on welfare. I had two kids um, working minimum wage jobs when I was you know, 19 and um, needed a different life. And I uh, did still have this sort of weird belief in the power of education to transform lives and, and life circumstances. And so I, I got my GED and went to college at night. And I slowly built up a different view of myself, um, both as a learner and as a person and, and what I was capable of. I had always assumed that I'd be a neurologist after that. I thought, okay, this, then I realized that wasn't what I wanted to do. And um, Harvard had started a brand new program called the Mind, Brain, and Education program. And so I thought, I didn't know where Harvard was. I actually could never have put it out on a map, but um, I wanted to be there. And I actually ended up getting into the program. Um, that's the program I'm the director of now. The professional aspect of this was that I knew that the sort of standardized approach to success didn't really work for me and that I had to carve off my own kind of path. Uh, but when I got to Harvard, it was during a period of time when um, science was changing pretty dramatically. I was working at Mass General Hospital, watching changes in medicine, um, in neuroscience, in nutrition, where we were getting away from um, one size fits all and really starting to look at personalization of things based on a new kind of science. And so it was that moment where I realized, well, wait a minute, this applies deeply to education and the workplace and human potential in general. So that really um, kick-started this whole path that I'm on right now. The end of average for education means that it is unacceptable to design learning environments assuming most kids are like an average kid, right? Because it turns out scientifically, mathematically, there actually isn't such a person. Um, it's just an empty middle, that they don't exist. And so you've designed textbooks and curricular materials and assessments that fit actually nobody at all. Um, and then kids muddle through and then we reward the ones that muddle through the best, you know, with better grades. Um, all the while thinking we're actually nurturing their potential and we're not. One of the mistakes I think we're making in education is to view personalized learning as another fad, but it's not. I mean, it, it, it's something bigger than that. There's something stirring in society. We're getting away from one size fits all and focusing on systems that really try to understand who you are and help develop you to your full potential. We have to show that this is what this is a complete rethink of ourselves as a society, um, and then position education as part of that. You know, for me, things like character development have, have lost ground in education, and they should be front and center. But the only way we get to do that is if we're really good at meeting every kid where they're at and giving them what they need to develop that broader range of skills and, and abilities and knowledge.